I don't think he's going to go underrated absolutely no longer when the Dodgers fans see him kicking ass on the Toronto well, Blue yeah, Jays. Exactly. Everybody and welcome to Blue Jays Today, where we always have something to say about the Toronto Blue Jays. I'm your host, Nicholas Playlog. And I'm your host, Adam Paddell. And today, guys, we're going to be breaking down who we think are the top five underrated free agents in this 2022 free agent class. But before we get into it, guys, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post notification bell button. Do all that. And as well, guys, this video is brought to you by FanDuel. You can use the link in our description to win a jersey. You can be entered to a contest we'll be announcing on January 1st. Yeah, buddy. Let's freaking get into it, dude. Let's do it. Um, Okay, as far as underrated guys go, I'm actually kind of shocked that this guy is as underrated as he is, considering how dominant he was last year. I'm talking about Carlos Rodon, pitcher for the White Sox. He's a free agent this coming year, and this guy has potential to be an ace on anybody's squad, in my opinion. Yeah. The last yeah. three years, a 3.19 ERA. Why are we not hearing more about this dude, especially to the Blue Jays or to the Yankees? Like, I hear, like, we're all in on, like, freaking Steven Matz and Clayton Kershaw. What about Carlos freaking Rodon? Yeah, I think it has to do with the fact that this came out of nowhere, man, where he was fifth in Cy Young Award votes. Yeah. It came out of nowhere, and this that year really brought down his career average to a 379, so that's incredible. Mm. And this guy, uh, Sport Rack says they're going to make $24 million, uh, Rodon, I think that's a bit high. and I think that's way too high. I think more likely a comfortable 20 is yeah. going to be something yeah. right, and, and somewhere between three and four years. I think a good deal for him would be like a three-year, sure. $20 million a year average annual value. Uh, I like that. That'd I like huge. that a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I just it's shocking to me like we're not hearing more about him yeah. in the elite starting pitcher conversation because being only 29 years old and also too a FIP lower than the ERA like the FIP category loves this guy which is something like I like to see for a breakout dude. So yeah. Carlos Rodon underrated as hell, man. Uh, moving on to a batter, um, I mean, I, I would argue like this guy is. Rated, but not as rated as he should be. I'm talking about Starling Marte, man. Yeah, dude. Okay, here's why I think he's going a little underrated. I mean, it's the age. Mm -hmm. I think age mm -hmm. is really seeping in there. It's he's dragging 30. him down. It's dragging him down. And you know what? This guy, we got to forget about how old he is because yeah. the numbers that he's putting up, the last three seasons, he's batted a 298 batting yes. average with yes. an OPS of 830. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely incredible. And 82 stolen bases. Yeah, I had that stat that written down. Too, it's man. huge. Insane. You want to talk about age? That, this guy doesn't look like yeah. he's aging on the yeah. base pass. Exactly, man. Like, it literally looks like there's no decline whatsoever. And I, you know what? I agree. You got to factor in age. But there's been no negative regression whatsoever. So, Starling Marte, he's going to step in. He's going to be an incredible bat for whom's ever get some. And this is a one or a two on anyone's lineup in the league, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, he's projected to get somewhere to three or four years. If you want to be really safe, I guess you can go more on the lower half. Mm. Three years, he's only going to cost you $18 million, right? That seems Just like, like a Marcus a Simeon. That seems like a steal, yep. yeah. For absolutely. real, for real, man. Another batter, complete opposite of what Starling Marte is with his bat, Jorge Soler. Now, this guy, yes, he does produce, but it's not from the runs. It's not from the stolen bases. It's with the homers. It's with the RBIs. An 833 OPS in his last three years, 83 home runs to go along with that. And consider factor in the fact that there was that shortened season, yeah. 211 RBIs as well. This is a dude who you want to put in your four, your five spot. And we're just not talking about him nearly enough. And also considering what he did in the postseason as well. Yeah, absolutely. Again, like you said, I think another reason why he's kind of going underrated, um, you know, he, he he's just a slugger. He's just a power guy. Yeah, he and, is. and as well, he kind of only plays like a good DH role, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And like, and just like Nelson Cruz, all the NL teams aren't really going to be looking at guys like that because yeah. they just don't have places to play him. Now, however, CBA might change that, but he's going underrated just because of that fact. I agree, man. And, and for real, if you are looking for a good batter, like literally anyone, Nelson Cruz is a great example. If you're looking for a good batter, look no further than Jorge Soler. Mm. Cheap as hell, man. Oh my God. Like yes. one to two years, eight to 18 million is kind of the range that we're eight putting him in. million for That's Jorge stupid, Soler? Man. That's absolutely stupid. As um, hell. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, exactly. Like he literally helped a team win a World Series. For real. So I would love to have him on my squad. Uh, another batter now coming in. We're going to be looking at Avisail Garcia. 30 years old, 
I was underrating this guy. Me too. And then I started looking at the numbers, and I'm like, oh, hell, yeah. 30 years old, looks pretty good. He's been kind of, like, increasing. Like, what do you got to say about him? Oh, I love this guy. The last three seasons, like, you know, we always talk about the 800 OPS. A 784 is still a very Solid. good bat. Yeah. And this guy bat in the middle of mm -hmm. that Milwaukee Brewers lineup, and I think that's exactly why we're going underrated on him, because yeah. he batted for a team that's not known for all the big bats. Mm -hmm. And they actually cut him. They didn't pick up his option. They cut that him this year. That ridiculous. Silly, because because yeah. he's he was going to make $12 million anyways, mm -hmm. and he's projected to make 12 million this year and you're missing out on this guy who in 2021 bumped that OPS to 820. Yeah. He had one of his better years so I don't understand. You know who he reminds me of is it kind of like Chris Taylor but in the outfield mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is what he reminds me of a lot yep. and, and I mean like I love me some Chris Taylor we're talking a lot about Chris Taylor and like respect to Chris Taylor but I have a sale Garcia like he's not far away man and like he's a solid dude if you want to just like shore up your outfield you don't need like the big big bat but, like, he's a good guy to help you out. Dude, he's great. I, I just saw these numbers. I wrote these down earlier, and I was like, oh, my God, really? 29 homers last year and 86 RBIs. Wow. 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 That is actually yeah. that is quite exceptional. That's, yeah. pr that's a pretty good bat, and he batted in the middle of the lineup. I'm like, yep, that makes sense. Yeah. You know what? So pick up this guy. He's going to only cost you $12 million. Yep, yep, I agree, man. Last on our list of the top five free agents that are currently underrated from the MLB is Kenley Jansen, the closer now. I don't underrate him. I don't think Adam no, underrates definitely him. definitely not. But it feels like a lot of people across the league do underrate him. Dodgers fans especially. I found him on like an like multiple articles of underrated free agents. And I don't really understand why. Like I think we need to talk about him like an elite closer because he is an elite closer. Like I don't get it. No, I don't. I think his uh, ERA, I don't have it here, but I believe it's like 214. 2.22 last 2 .2 year, 2. man. Like, like yeah. exceptional. Over the last three, it's been under three. And he's uh, doing it with the L.A. Dodgers. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're yeah. the closer for the L.A. Dodgers, like, obviously they have a great bullpen and you're the guy they trust. Like, I don't think he's going to go underrated absolutely no longer when the Dodgers fans see him kicking ass on the Toronto well, Blue Jays. Yeah, exactly. You know, I would be so happy to have him, man. And that's what I don't understand is because, like, why are we not talking about him more if, like, the limelight was on him? This is a dude who I think is at least, like, top three closers in this free agent class. Wherever yeah. he goes, he's going to be a stud. He had one of his best years ever last year yeah. so like again yes he's 34 but age doesn't matter when you just put up dude so i don't know man i feel like he's going super underrated and uh, yeah. whoever gets kenley jansen they're gonna be laughing i think they're gonna pay him nice too i mean once they see that eight to ten million average annual value for a leaf pitcher oh yeah, yeah. that's gonna bring some quite value to whichever team literally, he lands on. literally man but uh but guys that is our top five underrated Free agents from the 2021 to 2022 season. Comment down below what you thought about this list and also some other underrated guys. There's a bunch, man. Like, it was hard snipping them, so we yeah. would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Guys, you can also check us out on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Anchor, Radio Public, and Breaker. Also, check out our Instagram, Twitter, and our TikTok. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below like Nick is saying. And as well, guys, this video is brought to you by FanDuel. Use the link in our description to register through FanDuel, and you can win a jersey. You'll be Entered into a pool full of people, and you can win a jersey of any type. If you're a Dodgers fan, if you're a Padres fan, if you're a Blue Jays fan, doesn't matter. We'll get it to you if you win. And as well, guys, this video is brought to you by Patreon as well. <laughs> Become a Patreon, our Patreon specifically. Mm. It's three dollars a month, and you can come onto our show like all these guys. So, and shout out to thank you to all these guys for all their continuous support. Yeah, man, thank you so much for watching. And go, go Jays, go! go.